guys i know i look like a total mess right now i've got no makeup on my hair is still pretty much three quarters wet it looks really red in the camera for some reason but and it's now pissing down with rain but i realized that i hadn't actually filmed well i had filmed my march favorites but i just didn't like the way i'd filmed it so i have decided to film it again and i'm filming on my phone by the way so yeah i'm just testing it out this is you know a tester video to see how well it is because I thought my iPhone 4 was good looking at it on the actual screen on its phone on the phone but then when I edited it it was shit so yeah this is my March favorites this is makeup only just because I didn't really try anything new for skincare I just use what I know so yeah I, I will do a like March non favorites as well if you want to see that I'll film that after this video and I'm sorry but I'm going to keep drinking from my Transformers cup I believe mine's Optimus no nope, I got Bumblebee I got this when the new Transformers movie came out I think last year my brother has a green one we wanted to collect all of them but we never got around to it is actually not you know makeup products themselves this is a brush set so these all look like this they're a bamboo brush set um, if you live near me which okay if you go to Charlestown Square which is a shopping center near me not my local one but it's near me um, outside of Big W that makeup stand it's outside EB games as well that's where my mum got these I'm pretty sure so these are kind of like no brand like place sells them but she got me these for Christmas and like put them in a box when we moved and then she only just found them when she cleaned out the garage about last fortnight so yeah she gave them to me so it comes with this this little kabuki one but it's too dense for powder pardon me but it's not dense enough for liquid foundation so I think this might be like a mineral foundation kabuki one but I'm going to try this for powder anyway because I have a couple of powders that are like full coverage one so I want to try it with them I haven't actually tried this one yet because I put it away in my drawer I forgot about it the next one it comes with no particular order is a brush like this could use this for bronzer I use this for blush just because I have found a brush I do like for bronzer and I wanted to find a new one for blush and I have to say it's amazing these are made very very well they're very soft and they dry so quick I washed these last night at about 7 p.m. and I went to bed at about 10 30 and these were almost dry when I went to bed at 10 30 or 10 now this one is not dirty it's just kind of stained a bit but this is the foundation brush this is the foundation brush I've been using in my past couple of videos and I have only ever used this brush since I got it. So for two weeks straight, this is the only brush I've used. It's so much better than my Real Techniques buffing brush. It's so soft. Um, it just makes my whole face look amazing. And my foundation has been lasting a lot longer since I've been using this. Because um, that brush does not add extra moisture to my face like what the sponge does. So yeah, very... If you had to buy one brush from all of these, I would say it was this. It would be that. And then it comes with a foundation brush. And this is, most people don't like these, but I actually find this pretty good. This is rather flimsy. I have another one that's rather stiff, which I think this would be very good, particularly, or well, now that I'm, my, the lighting's washing me out, but I am very, like, rather deeply tanned at the moment. I've got no makeup on, so you mightn't be able to tell as much. But um, this is good for when I want to mix foundation together because I hate it when I like mix it on the back of my hand or something but then I have to like, try and wipe it off on my finger. So I reckon it'd be good mixing it with this and then I can just, you know, spread it all over my face and buff it out with this and, you know, not have to worry about so much mess. But I also use this for highlight which is very good because the other brushes I used are not particularly precise so this is very very good for that or if I had a thicker concealer it would be good for blending that out but my concealer is not like that and then the rest of them are all eye brushes but this is the little angled one I used for I use for my eyebrows that's why it's like rather stained as well because my brow pomade stains it a bit 
Um, yeah, this is, all these brushes are synthetic as well, so all of them can be used with cream or powder products, so that's why I chose this for my brow one. Comes with a blending brush. Now, this is not supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be straighter, but it was bent in the bag. This is like a MAC 217, you know, sort of just very long. I really like this for applying like a transition colour, but I wish I could get that bent out of it but it's all right if it annoys me too much i will go buy like you can buy these brushes individually i'm pretty sure so i might go buy another one because these are so good came with a flat eyeshadow brush i use this all the time packing color on the lid pencil brush for lower lash line angle crease brush and this is probably the only one the least used one which is just a very very big thick dense brush if you want to review and demo like complete video just on these brushes, let me know. So this is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. This is in 105. Can't wear it at the moment. But I've worn this, I think, three times this month. Or three times. And it is probably my now favourite foundation. I want to go and get it in the darker colour. Because obviously, you know, it's practically white. <laughs> And it doesn't oxidize. It doesn't say on it that it dries matte, but it gives me such a matte finish. It doesn't oxidize and go really stupid. It doesn't look bad. As you can see, I don't have a huge amount to cover except for redness and the occasional spot. And this, a lot of people I heard complain about this, but this gave, gave me amazing coverage. Buffed out really well with this brush. It's in a squeeze tube, so it's very easy for travel. Uh, if you want a full, complete review on all my foundations, or at least my top five foundations that I own, let me know because I'd be glad to do that. And this is also one of CoverGirl's cheaper foundations as well. I think this is $15 at Kmart, um, whereas I think it's like $18 everywhere else. But yeah, this is CoverGirl's a little bit, a little bit cheaper one. The Ready Set Gorge, the Ready Set Gorgeous one that I love is like $20, $21. So yeah. That's good. I tried the Mode Pressed Powder. This is in Soft Ivory. I believe this powder comes in four shades. You can buy this at Coles now. It looks white on camera, but it isn't that, that light. Shit. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can start and see the rings on the bottom. So I think I'm going to hit pan soon. Like, it's not extremely powdery. It's not um, chalky, it doesn't, it's just a very good powder, and this is $3, and it's vegan, and I'm pretty sure it's vegan. I know it's complete cruelty free. It says a smooth powder foundation that provides an instant natural even looking complexion. I wouldn't use this as a powder foundation on its own, but to be honest, this is one of my favourite powders I have ever tried. So, I have it in a darker shade, which I actually forgot, I'm going to replace it in my... Uh, little tray over here with like replace the dark one with the light one so yeah it's amazing and it's cheap and to go along with that i bought the blush this is in cupid and this is matte i bought this because it's a little bit of a more rosy toned peach color as you can see it's like looks like a rosy color here but straight up peach there it looks very nice it's completely matte but it's so pigmented it blends out very, very well. I find it looks nice whether I'm pale or whether I'm tanned. It's cruelty free. It's cheap. And I found that, to be honest, this is the only blush I have worn since I bought it. I have my little container here with all my products in it. And I have like two, pow two three powders I alternate between. But this is the only blush in there. And it's good because it's like smaller. So it's good for travel. My Chi Chi Brow Pomade. Again, this is my favourite thing. This is in medium brown. And the thing that shocked me first was, you see the colour through it? It looks green. When I opened it, I was like, oh my god. It's green. Like, why would I put something on my brows that's green? But I thought, okay, plenty of people love it. I'm going to try it. When you put it on your brows, you do not see any of the green or grey colour in it at all. Looking in my camera right now, it's coming off very, very greeny, grey, brown. As you can see, I love it. When I first applied it, like the 
you can see there's st still some stuff around the edge that hasn't been touched. That part is very slippery. I thought, oh my god, it's too oily. Like, it felt like it had oil in it. Trying to comply... Like, I'm going to do a full-on review on this one day. Like, complete just... I thought it had oil in it, but once you get past that top layer and it kind of starts to dry out the tiniest bit, it's amazing. Although I do have to be careful, it can very, very quickly go very overboard. Um, I think I might go buy a lighter... Do they have light brown? I hope so. Because now that the colour's fading out of my hair, um, it's starting to not match as well. So, because my hair is also going a bit more red because the dye is fading out of it, um... That won't match me as well. So, I want to go get the other one. So, even if I have to mix them together. Um, yeah. So, but since I bought this, I have not touched my e.l.f. one at all. It's still sitting in my makeup collection, like with the um, box over it and everything. I haven't touched it. So, these two lip com or three technically, lip combos I tried this month. And I love it. To go to school, this is my go-to look. I use my Essence Lip Liner in In The Nude, just my absolute favourite nude lip liner or nude colour to be honest, this is my go to nude colour for my lips. I use this with my NYX Madeline Butter Gloss over the top and oh my god, it's just incredible because this is kind of well, on my skin tone, it's rather like a, it's almost a pinky rosy nude. That's just what it comes off on my skin tone at least, and on my lips it looks slightly pink. And then this, this part of gloss is very weird. If I wear a lipstick that's very, very yellow based, the nude, put this over the top and it makes it adjust to a more neutral colour. If I wear a lipstick that's a, a nude, but like, or a neutral colour that's very pink toned, I put this over the top and again, it makes, turns it into a neutral colour. So this lip gloss is amazing and honestly I wouldn't be surprised if I'm going to run out of it soon no not only just i've had this in so many favorite videos if i had to choose one lip gloss to keep for the rest of my life it would be this i want to buy all of these i'm saving up to go to sephora but i'm going to save up and then buy the rest of these but yeah this is my favorite nude combo so for the next couple of months if you see me wearing nude that's probably it and the next one also involves an essence lip liner this one's Red Blush. This is my most used one, to be honest. I don't know why. I never thought I'd use red that much. These lip liners are just incredible anyway. That's the red one there. And it's a rather raspberry sort of... Um, it's a raspberry um, berry toned red, like a little bit darker. So, and I bought a mini pack of the Chi Chi Liquid Lipsticks, which is fine. Like, I wanted them. This one's in Viva La Diva, and I don't know if it, how it's coming off on camera, but it's a very orange-based red. I'm not... There's the thunder. I'm not going to swatch it just because it does actually stain my hand. Um, but I put this over the top. I, this does not need a lip liner, but I wanted to mix the colours. And I put it over the top, and it made the most amazing, like, neutral but bright red. Because this is dark, but you put this over the top, and it just... I can't explain it, it's just amazing. And then another time I was like, oh, I put this on, but I was like, oh, you know, I want to I want to go purple today. So I found that I have my Astralis, this is a lip paint, super intense colour. It doesn't actually have an, uh, like a, a colour name on it, it didn't even on the sticker that went over it. But I thought this was brown when I first bought it ages ago. But it's actually just straight up purple. And I'm not going to swatch this one because again it stains. But smells like lollies. And these two together, again, made an amazing colour. So those lip colours are going to be featured in tutorials and videos soon. So that is my makeup favourites for the month of March. I hope you enjoyed it, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!